All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to Farming Sim 17 for the third tutorial, How to Seed Your Field. One of the hokey things about this game uh, is that you actually have to, egg when you go between tutorials, you actually have to exit all the way out <laughs> of, the tra of the game and come back in to start the next tutorial. That's kind of goofy, if you ask me. All right, so here we are. We're going to start the tractor. You guys know the drill. And, all right, so we're doing it. Put ourselves in the C range here. And they want us to connect the drill. What we would call a cedar here in America. It can also be called a seed drill, for those of you that did not know that. Um, that's why they're calling it a drill. Because it drills the seed into the ground. It's a Satera combi liner from Kuhn. So had 100% efficiency, or 100% full, it looks like. I missed it. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. <laughs> Tutorial failed. Oh, I was ready. There we go. Usually I, I'm used to seeing a prompt, obviously. Okay, so drive to the field. All right, which field are we going to today? Um, this is a different farm, isn't it? One of my complaints is that the farms all kind of look the same, but whatever, I mean. All right, so we are in top range here. There's one more gear, but I don't want to go much faster. Full speed ahead. Let's we'll see if we can get the tractor to jump. Nope. Alright, so, where do they want us? Oh, what? Didn't look like they were bringing us over here. Scrape. We just ripped the paint off of our tractor. Alright, I don't believe it. <laughs> Show me the real field. All right, so here we are. Next, sow the field. Okay, that's it. They're just going to make us sow the field. They're not going to tell us how to load the cedar or anything. Hmm, okay. Well, we're going to lower the cedar and T is marker down. I can't remember which is my T key. There we go. Seed marker. And we're going to drop our gears down to first or second gear. Maybe 2C would be appropriate, or 2B. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. I think with the drills, they just do it. So, yep, it's, it's running. It's 99%, so we're dropping seed right now. Now, in this game, unlike the farm sim, you load the seed at the farm. You can unload and load seed into the uh, cedar, but you do not have the ability to change seed while you're in the tractor. You actually have to go back to the farm, unload the seed that you have in there, and then uh, reload it with the seed that you want to use. We're going to raise this. We're going to change the marker side. We're going to back up. And we're going to go forward. And what you do is you put your nose on that marker. And we're going to lower this down. And off we go. And once again, if we look at our pressing F2 gives us our menu. We've sewn 7.7, 7.8. This is a, once again, this is the same field we've been working on. So it's uh, just under half, an, half a hectare. It's 100% plowed, 100% cultivated, no fertilizer, and we're sowing right now. So that ridge marker, you can see, left that mark for us to follow with the nose of our tractor. That keeps us seeding pretty much a perfectly, well, not perfectly straight, but we, it gives us full coverage of the field if we use that. So we're going to raise that up. We're going to change the ridge marker up. Put the other side down. We're going to back up. 
And so this game has a lot more... Oh, that didn't, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. This game gives you a lot more what I would call <laughs> field handling. Like, you're really actually running the tractor. Uh, not that you don't do that in the farm sim. But in this one, it feels... It just... I don't know. It works better in some ways. I don't know. Probably because you actually have some real terrain going on. I never used ridge markers in the farm sim because I would always press the wrong one and it would tear my crop up. What was that? Can you get a notification or something? My computer blee blue blee Oh, the video's done processing. So. Um, I like the way they handled the windows in this game. Uh, you know, usually windows are... Uh, like, they're transparent, but they don't... Uh, they look like like tint them and stuff, and you can't see out of them. This game actually gave it like a. You still feel like you're seeing a window, but you're not. It's not messing with the whole being able to view outside the tractor. They did a good job with that. We're gonna bump the range up to to D here and see if we can. I don't think we can see it any faster. Put the cedar down, and off we go. So once again, just follow your ridge marker. It looks like about 13 is about the top speed here. Oh no, we can go faster. Whoa, I don't know if that's good for it though. I suppose if you can do it, you can do it, right? I know with the harvesting, you actually can overspeed. And uh, and not, I don't want to say damage the harvester, but you can actually um, damage your crops if you go too fast while you're, while you're doing it. So I, I, I kind of... Try to keep my speed down when I'm doing stuff. But we could do 3A and see what happens. Put the cedar down and off we go. Let's see if 3B is a little bit better. Yeah, 3C. 16 kilometers. That seems a little bit better. We don't want to stress the cedar. The game does warn you if you're doing something like totally wrong. It'll tell you like, oh man, you're you're like way over speed. You know, like you're you're damaging the cedar. That tr this looks pretty good. I'm telling you, the graphics look pretty good on this. They're not, at least the tractor, like the equipment itself looks good. Pretty decent. Oh, yeah. So let's pop this thing down here. And what an exciting tutorial. <laughs> Driving all over the place. It's actually easier to do it in cab than it is out. As you can see which way the line is going. But if you're outside of the tractor, you don't really need to use the ridge markers because you can see what you're doing already. Oops, wrong button. I can pop that down. Looking good. So once again, the ridge marker takes us home. Gets our coverage all the way up as we need it. But like I said, it seems to it's just better to use it inside the cab. So you can see where you're going. back my cedar into the tree. So we're at 50% of the field, 51%. 52. Oops, I jumped around there a little bit. <laughs> I, 
I just, I feel, I don't know, this game, I'm, once again, it's so, it's funny because it's, it's like they haven't changed that much, but it feels vastly improved over the old edition. I mean, it really does. Once again, I wish it had controller support, but it's, this is a program, I, I was, I was very skeptical when I bought it. I was like, this is going to suck. It's going to be the same as the other one. But they've really, I'm, I'm pretty impressed at how much improved this game feels. Uh, just from a, a feel standpoint, it just, it's, so far it's good. I'm, I'm disappointed that they haven't given us more in-depth tutorials on the animals and stuff. I, I don't think there is any there. They show you how to harvest. Looks like there's going to be some information on the fruit farm. But, but with the animals, you're kind of on your own. And I'll go through that stuff with you guys as we play. Um, it's pretty easy. I've done it before. It's the same as 2016, it looks like. Except for now, you actually have to buy the animal farm. You don't. It's not part of your farm, so you actually have to go out. You have to purchase the animal farm, and so that's a little bit, uh, I'll say, aggravating. But it's now one of the things you could do. This is a pretty big cedar. You really would probably, in real life, be using a weight on the front of the tractor um, to counter this heavy cedar on the back. It's not a drag behind cedar, so you're really kind of putting all that weight on the on the. Like, it's, your front wheels aren't going to be grippy because they're being dragged along by the back. <laughs> there we go. I'm surprised they haven't canceled the, or ended the tutorial yet. But we'll finish it out. Because there might be more at the end. I doubt it at this point, but there might actually be more information at the end. Congratulations, the tutorial's completed. You must now exit the game and come back. So we should get... Uh, I just got the improved ability solar. Usually that means that's the end of the tutorial, but we'll see. Nope. Wrong button, Artie. There's a big bird flying over. Do you see that? All right. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. Unnecessarily. The animation's a little bit off there for the <laughs> the uh, the ridge marker. It's like way left of the the wheel itself. Oh well. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Still, it's in the right place, but let's see if the other one's off like that, too. It probably isn't. Oh, look at that. Just like the farm sim. One side's on, one side's off. That happens on the farm. Oh, there we go. All right. The game offers... And I, and you will actually damage your crops in this game if you drive over it like this, so it's really not a good idea. I don't. I missed what they said. The game offers something or other, and then it disappeared. Fertilization of the soil prevents its sterilization and can increase yields. Okay, that. So that is. It was just telling us that the game offers fertilization. So it's going to have us fertilize now. I bet. Now, I tend to just hire an airplane to do the fertilization because it actually is very inexpensive, like 100 bucks a field. And by the time you pay for the fertilizer and how quickly this thing runs out of fertilizer, unplug the seed drill. <laughs> uh, they should have hired somebody to... to uh, it all costs money, you know. They're trying to get this stuff out. So I need to R, lower the machine, and then disconnect. Connect it. There we go. Once again, you have to on this game. You have to lower a lot of the equipment. Has to be lowered before you can just disconnect it. So, all right. Drive to the field. Fertilizer's already full.
See if we can make the thing jump around while we're here. I haven't done it yet, but yeah, you can see here it's already... It's not coming off the ground, though, so they kind of fixed it a little bit, but you look at the front wheels bouncing off. They said the pickup truck gets crazy, like over 40 kilometers an hour is where things start having problems. Fecundate the field? <laughs> Fecundate. <laughs> what the fruit? <laughs> Do what to the field? <laughs> you want me to what? Yeah, you do it. I ain't fecundating the field. <laughs> what does that mean? It's probably German or something for these German developers. All right, so how do we turn this dang thing on? T, start fertilization. Well, I missed. Didn't I? Oh, no, it's covering it. There we go. Oh, it's much wider than I thought. Crap, well, I wasted some of it. And it's not emptying too fast, so... You want to roll as fast as you can so you don't waste it, you know. Oops. I missed the end of the field, though. That's just not going to do it. Okay. And once again, I think it, yell it yells at you if you go too fast. I'm trying to get the camera out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's fecundate the field. <laughs> nope, that was the wrong one. Now watch your mouth. Wash your mouth out with soap. Well, the field has been fecundated. <laughs> oh, it keeps you at 18 kilometers an hour, so 4D is the most you can shift into. I'm a bad boy. I fecundated the field. <laughs> Stuff like that just cracks me up. Oh, congratulations. This tutorial's completed. You must now completely exit the game. Come back home. You got it. Congratulations. This tutorial has been fecundated. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. We fecundated this field. <laughs> Sorry, I know I need to grow up. I'm just like this big freaking kid. <laughs> I hope the big question marks go away eventually. I, I have my feelings that they probably are not going to. Um, I need to get a screenshot. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for being part of my channel. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Um, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and if you love me a lot enough, donate. That always helps. Uh, but uh, I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying these and you know, like I said, we're gonna f we'll finish all the tutorials and then we'll move on to actually doing a farm or two and uh, we'll just have some fun. Have a great night. See you on the farm.